anyway, with no further ado, here we go. Let's transition over. So here we go. So I was being dumb and I deleted the raw recording of the ultrasound five twenty four. So I'm using YouTube to commentate over the run. So apologies if there's buffering or anything before I start. Anyway, let's dive right into the run. So, Hello World is the first crown in the in the world. It has the first crown. There are eight crowns in Marta. One in Hello World, one in Magic Key, one in Buzzcut, one in Up and Down, one in Sawface, one in Plummet, one in Upward, and one in Longway. So, I got the Hello World crown. That was pretty clean movement. The pit, no crown at all. It's easy. Magic Key. You practically need to do the pixel jump to make this cycle right here. It's basically Marta any percent cycle, but you get the crown, which is really cool. Pushbird, um, no crown, but same, a any level without a crown is just the same movement and strategies as Marta any percent, so I'll probably stay quiet during those. Now, I did not do fast buzz cut here because I was going to, but I didn't do the platforms fast enough, so I didn't want to risk it. And plus, uh, kind of, it, it, like, this category is un unoptimized anyway, so I didn't really care that much. Now, for Buzzcut Crown, you can actually jump two platforms instead of all three and still make that jump. It's, like, pixel perfect, though, so not really recommended if your all crowns time is above 530 now up and down you just go up here and those spike balls are on a cycle so it doesn't matter if you get stuck on the ascent but i got stuck on the descent which lost like a second saw face i did not go for pause and play because pause and play affects the saws at the top where the crown is and that's not fun <laughs> so did not attempt that now here if you're fast enough you can actually pick up the crown and go on the right of the bottom saw that's pretty hard to do but with practice you can get consistent at it no crown here just jump through the crumbly blocks to accelerate faster And now Plummet Crown. The thing about Plummet Crown is you basically go through the level twice. You descend on the left side and then go up the elevator cycle, but you just break, well, walk on all the crumbling blocks on the right. So when you get the crown right there, you take the elevator again, and you can just like fall right through all the saws, and it saves time if you just break all the crumbling blocks. And as you can see, I almost missed that fast elevator cycle, so I'm thankful I didn't miss it. Upward, there is a crown, but it's at the end of the it's at the end of the level. You climb all the falling blocks, and there's this little, you know, section at the top. That's where the crown is. Missed the fast acceleration to the portal, but that's fine. Only lost like a tenth. You know, funny thing about this run is, um, I wasn't really sure what the pace was because I haven't run all crowns in a while. This was like my first good run in. I don't know, months since like January, no, not even January. Uh, when, when did I get my 440? I got my 526 all crown shortly after. It was like November or something. But this was my first good all crowns run since November and I didn't memorize what paces were good. So I was just playing through the game. 
Anyway, long way, I did not go for fast long way because all crowns is longer is a longer category than any percent and it's not as optimized, so you can afford not to go for fast long way. The crown is also at the end of the level. It's where the jumping enemies are. Like, you jump down to where the jumping enemies are and in the middle, there's a crown there. So, pretty fun, honestly. I almost died there. I was like, you know, I, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna try to go under the third jumping enemy, but after a split second decision, I decided, like, I noticed I was gonna die if I tried, so I just didn't go for it. And now we're back to the crusher. Now, the thing about all crowns is instead of adding 21 seconds to the time in which you spawned in the crusher you only add 20 because the new best time animation does not show up so the time from which you enter the portal and well, which is displayed in the time trial screen only differs by one second you know pretty cool and now my current time trial screen displays my any percent world record and my all crowns world record, which, which is really cool. With that said, that's my, that's the end of the run. Hope you enjoy the rest of Whamathon. Awesome. So, um, thanks to uh, the one C. <sighs> Did it wrong again, didn't I? Anyway, thank you very much for that. That was brilliant, and another uh, cat bird world record to be uh, at least by surprise on anyone, on everyone actually, so I hope you weren't too uh, shocked and or surprised. 